Welcome, Girish. Thanks, Pranav. Okay, we've just completed a dress rate differential uh, in in the previous video. Theoretically, we have understood the yeah, concept of what is interest rate differential. We've just understood that concept. Yeah. So let's let's have a look at uh, what else is there in pricing of currency futures. Basically, uh, we come to the calculation part. Okay. So whenever you want to calculate a forward rate, it's right. a combination of two things: spot plus the points. Spot is the spot prevalent rate, rate, and points would be points would be interest, your interest rate differential. differential. So how you calculate an interest rate differential? Yeah. Uh, you have this formula: points okay. is equal to spot into one plus term i into day basis uh, upon one plus base i into day basis minus one. Uh, here term i means uh, the rate of interest prevalent in the term uh, term currency right and base i would be the rate of interest prevalent in the base, base currency, base currency yeah. and for a day basis we generally use a 360 day basis uh, convention so this is the basic formula through which you can calculate the forward rate okay so i mean just in case if it's sounding uh, confusing mm -hmm. do not really worry because what all we've done till now is Very simple that a forward rate or a future rate is nothing but spot plus IID, yeah. and IID is called the points. And for for calculating points, there's a formula, yeah. which is spot into one plus term I into days by basis and one plus base I into days by basis minus one. Yeah. What what all we're trying to say is that with with the example we'll be explaining this further. Yes. Sir. So so just just be with us and you'll be able to completely understand how this works. Yeah, it's very simple. Basically. Okay, so let's let's do the next slide where yeah. you've taken the example. Yes. Okay. So let's take this example. Yeah. We've taken an example wherein the prevalent spot rate is forty three fifty. Okay. And our currency is USD INR. Okay. So the US interest rate is three percent, while the Indian interest rate is six percent. Right. So here in this in our example, our base currency, as we know, is US dollar. Right. So our base I would be three percent. One minute. So let's let's just take this slowly. Yeah. What you're saying is that our base currency is USD, yeah. which is uh, the the interest rate there is at three percent, and uh, term currency is INR, yeah. and the interest rates mentioned is at six percent. Yes. And uh, your prevalent spot rate is forty three fifty. That's also given. So spot rate, which is prevalent right now, is forty three point five zero, which is also given. Yeah. Now you we have to calculate the forward rate. Uh, at the end of next three months. Three months. So yeah. this so would tell us the days by the the day day upon basis that yeah. you were saying. So we'll take so a day, day upon system. basis will be three months or ninety days three into three sixty because we take basis as three sixty always. Yeah. Right. Uh, this is the market convention. Right. So so, uh, so theoretically, if you want to understand that, if as on today the spot rate is forty three fifty, theoretically, what would be a perfect forward rate? Uh, three months down the line, a perfect forward rate would be forty three point five zero plus whatever the interest rate differential is. Yeah. So how do we calculate that interest rate? So interest rate differential was points, which we said that is the interest rate differential. Mm -hmm. There was a formula, yes. which we have done. So we now know that uh, that the terms I was what was at uh, which is which is the term currency is what at six percent. Yes. So we've taken at one plus zero point zero six here, and similarly the base I. Which was the USD was taken as one plus zero point zero three, right? Day basis, count day basis was ninety by three sixty, which we've taken as point two five, point two five, because ninety by three sixty will be point two five. Anybody can calculate this, yeah. and we've just put that into the formula. Mm -hmm. We've not done much in this. Yes. This is simple actually a very simple calculation. Yes. So you will come out and you will realize that this is one plus zero point zero one five. Actually, the back it's somewhat like this. So you you will realize that. One plus zero point zero one five divided by one plus zero point zero seven five, and then minus one. If this is this is what the final thing will look like. Mm -hmm. You go a little further. I'm just running you through the calculations. You will realize that this is forty three point five plus one point zero zero seven four four minus one, or point zero zero seven four four. So your IRD or the interest rate differential. Is will be forty three point five into point this zero figure, zero. which will be thirty two paise. Which will be point thirty two. Thirty two paise. So this is your or 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 thirty two paise. Thirty two paise interest rate differential for a period of three months. Now you add this as per our uh, theoretical right. formula. So we are so adding this. So forward rate we remember was spot, spot plus, plus points 
or interest rate derivatives differentials sir interest rate uh, differentials then this becomes 43.50 which was given as a spot rate plus point we've calculated as 0.32 is equal and you realize that this is 43.82 yeah so uh, to have a clear understanding if as on today we have a spot rate of 43.50 right our forward price should be 43.82 right three months from now right right so if this is the pricing in the market it means there are no arbitrage opportunity right. because if you are investing if you are taking a loan of 3% right and investing at 6% for three you months you are not going to you are already money. getting yeah you are not going to you are not going to make any money by any doing that kind of yes. uh, arbitrage opportunity because at the end of 3 months your conversion rate would be 43.82 absolutely so so let me just uh, you know uh, make this more concise and talk what we said was that first was interest rate differential you should understand what the concept is which we have done in one of the videos yes and then we said that uh, the 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 future price or the forward price would be equal to spot plus uh, the interest rate uh, differential or we call it as points and there was a formula for points then and uh, so there's a formula which which we have discussed and once you once you have the 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 determinants of that formula yeah. you can easily calculate uh, calculate the points. points once you have the points then fp equals to spot plus what you just calculated points and you will get your answer and this will be a place where uh, as we said the arbitrage opportunities will not be available yeah. so so theoretically so it indicates the price there are no arbitrage. Actually, this is a theoretical indication. So uh, there are a lot of other factors which play a role, but I think from NISM perspective, yes. this is what is, and it's an important topic because a lot of questions come from this. Uh, yeah, a lot of calculations. Yeah. So, so maximum calculations would be coming from this. Numericals, uh, most of numericals will come from this. Yeah, and, and most of us actually have just our phobia of maths, yeah. but th there's nothing <laughs> much it's here. It's so if you just go back to the video, yeah. you actually realize that's pretty simple, simple. addition. Calculation. Perfect. Uh, so, thanks, Girish. What we'll do is we'll come back to the next part yeah, with you uh, in, in the next video. Okay. Thank you very much.